This is my new Audi R8 daily driver and I need to have done a thousand miles before I can thrash it and so far it's only done 400 miles. So what I'm going to do is drive it all the way to the Nürburgring. I've got an early start here today, it's just gone 5am and I'm going to head to the coast, get into France then drive to Germany. Let's do this. <laughs> Been driving now on the motorway for about two hours, just heading to the Channel Tunnel. It's light finally. It's quite relaxing to drive in this is, you know, I've got the roof up, it's well insulated. I'm not really revving it past 4,000 RPM, but that's still giving me the national speed limit. Now we're heading to the Channel Tunnel to cross over into France. We're approaching the Channel Tunnel now. Hopefully this is gonna go all smoothly. The car's registered, but you never can tell until you get there. I also hope there's not a big queue of traffic because you can be waiting here for blooming ages. I hope I don't get stopped by customs. Whenever you're in a posh car, you get stopped by customs. Not because they think you got drugs or guns. It's because they just like to look at your car. Right, right, right. Which is the correct lane? No, 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 get in before him. There we go, let's go here. <laughs> Take departure letter, I've got a letter. Oh dear. Oh, Look, we're basically them in that TT, but like with a serious upgrade. I might just get my willy out and wave it at them. Oh, look, you're not allowed to take firearms on. Well, I better get that AK-47 out of the boot. Actually, an AK-47 wouldn't fit in the boot. This is the struggle where you have to get close enough to the keypad that you can operate it through your window without having to open your door, because if you open your door, you end up smashing it on the kiosk. But if you get too close to the keypad you end up curbing your wheels and these wheels are like 20 inches really easy to curb and expensive so this is going to be a bit of a, a traumatic experience uh am i close enough come for yeah it didn't have to do anything it knew who i was didn't know i was that famous there's a ferrari in front of the van in front of us which is good so what should happen is the custom guys will go for them because they're more likely to be drug dealers than an audi r8 driver we all know that so they'll stop them and then they'll let me through and i should be able to get the next train but passport control is always fun. This is the British side first, so they're quite nice. Hello. Hello. You all right? Yeah, can you not film here, please? Here we go, customs. Come on, they didn't stop the Ferrari guy. They stopped the guy in the Kia. Actually, they're sending him back. <laughs> not allowed to France. Hello, how are you doing? Oh, we're going to get a check. It's only two minutes. Okay, so this is customs check. Brilliant. Right, so I think we're just about to pass the security check, unless they actually pick up some kind of like residue of explosives on the little swabs they've just put through the car. How are you doing? Is it important to take a quick picture, sorry? Um, you can do if you want to. I don't know whether you're allowed to. Yeah, yeah, I'll make the rules. <laughs> Is it all right that we've got about 20 kilos of cocaine in the boot? Okay, French passport time. Bonjour, ça va? Oui. Oh, it's mad now having a stamp. I forgot it's Brexit, isn't it? Merci beaucoup, au revoir. Je parle bon français. That was... Um, I speak good French, but no French person would have understood it. <laughs> Here it is, the weird undersea train thingy-majig. And we're going in a separate carriage that is tall enough for big vans and stuff. But it does mean that it's wide and I don't need to worry about my alloy wheels now. Perfect. So the other one, if you go for the normal size vehicles, it's basically about as wide as that Tesla, so it would get wedged. And so that can be quite traumatic. As you sort of like bounce your way down inside. That's a little bit of fun actually with the carbon ceramic brakes. You notice they are a little bit more grabby than steel brakes when you try and do those fine maneuvers, like get really close onto this train to that Tesla in front. Bit weird, I was gonna go. Didn't know. Now we go to France. So I've got a 30 minute crossing to France and it's gonna give me time to eat some food. And what I'm doing here is warming up my roll, my pano chocolat and my nuts just over the air vents for the engine. I like warm nuts. Okay, that's the train arrived. I'm gonna get off it, start the car. Here we go. Right. Viva, allez, on y va, en France. Oh, yeah. That's all the French people just hating me in the comments. Please forgive me. Right, let's put the roof down, it looks sunny. I can do it while driving at speeds of up to about 32 miles an hour. These people are gonna think I'm a right dick because I'm coming off the train doing that. Wow, that is bright. Off we go to Germany. But first, I need to pull over and have a wee. I don't know what's going on here. Hello. Hello. Oh, I'm it's Carl Wall. No. 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 Who's that? Oh, I love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing here? Uh, spotting, car spotting. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it because it's the Nürburgring 24? Yeah, exactly. Uh, what's the best car you've seen so far? It's an Audi R8 Spider, isn't it? Uh... Oh! 
Hey! <laughs> What's the best car? Yes, yes, yes. yes. This game. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, winning. This is the petrol station to, to hang out at to car spot, yeah? Yeah. This is the okay, best. so if you want to go car spotting, right, head across to France and the first petrol station you come to, that is the one. Join these guys who are obviously very health and safety conscious in their high visits. Don't know why he's got the orange, maybe he's the leader. Are you the gaffer? Uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, perfect. You look a little bit like Charles Leclerc. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Let's um, prepare this car for being able to drive in Europe. What I'm gonna do now is make the R8 legal by adding this UK sticker, which I didn't need to do a couple of years ago because of the fact we're in the European Union, but obviously we're not anymore. So little things like this actually make you feel special. They don't make you feel special, it's a real inconvenience. There we go. Right. Lovely. One of the problems with this R8 is that there is absolutely no luggage space. So we've got a few bags in there and it's completely full. I want to put our coats in, but in order to do that, I need to remove this thing, which I think is the wind deflector. So I can do that, undo that. Never fitted it before, but let's see how easy it is or isn't. So I think it's going to be easy. It's just one, he says as he struggles to get out the back. <laughs> right. Yeah, I don't know which way is forward. I'm sure it doesn't matter. And I think I just slot those. Ha! Done! I'm a pro! Let's go! So we've driven through France. We're now in Belgium, heading towards Germany. The car has done over 700 miles. And according to the manual, after 700 miles, I can start to rev it quite a bit higher. So here we go. First time revving it high. Oh, there we go. That sounds epic. What I'm also surprised at is that the fuel economy, when we've been cruising at between 110 and 130 kilometers an hour, so about 80 miles an hour, 23.5. That's all right. It's just a bit more revs though. Oh yes, very nice. I've stopped at the fuel station because I've got 50 miles left in the tank. Seems that at French fuel stations, they play music. Anyhow, let's fill up. No, not with that. <laughs> 98, I'm gonna save some money with my expensive supercar. I can just go for 95, because I'm just cruising on the motorway. And with that in mind, let's see how much it's gonna cost me for a full tank. 174 per litre, so it's about the same as in the UK. Come on, come on. I don't want to listen to this music any longer. Come on. Is it because I'm British and I need to go and give them my car because they don't trust me? I bet I have to pre-authorise. Okay, someone's just told me, some guy over there. This guy. Thank you. Car wow fan. Point out, I need to use this machine. <laughs> what an idiot. Come on, get in the hole. Now I can start filling up. 95. <laughs> oh, if you're wondering what this is, I've hurt my right arm from all the wank I've hurt my right arm from all the driving. 108 euros, 62 litres. It always hurts when it's over 100, doesn't it? Anyway, let's get back on the road. We are now in Germany, yeah, on the Autobahn, and it is de-restricted, and we have done over 800 miles. Still don't want to rev it too high, but I can go a bit quicker. So look, 160 kilometres an hour, which is 100 miles an hour. The car is actually really nice and stable, but you soon catch up with other traffic, such as old Vauxhall Astras. Oh, and that's what happens. Someone in a Hyundai 10 suddenly pulls out in front of you. Fortunately, I've got carbon ceramic brakes, so I can do plenty of that without losing any braking performance. Yes, proper motoring journalism right there, people. Come on, get out of my way. Oh, induction under the bridge. Yes. Ah! Don't trip, can't get out of the way, Astra. That's right. How fast is this now? 200 kilometers an hour, maybe? Yeah, 200, look. This is definitely a good way to run the car in. It's all right, I'm supposed to build uh, the acceleration over the range of 700 to 1,000 miles. It's fine. This is good for it. Run it in quick, make it quick. Everyone knows that. What is impressive is well over 100 miles an hour. It's still pleasant with the roof down. It's good. So we're getting close to the Nürburgring now. And I think I'm going to turn up in my Audi to meet the people from Audi while wearing my cameraman's... Almost lost it. <laughs> Hat! Do you reckon they'll like that? Yeah. Be careful waving caps about in a convertible car because they'll soon be lost. 
Oh, look, there's a sign. There's a German man and he's got us right next to it here with a very big smile on his face. Oh, tunnel. I probably shouldn't do this. Yeah, that was, shouldn't do that. But I did definitely do it. Here we are then, this is it. We are here. There's the building up there, with the famous no building sign. So that's the GP circuit on the left and then the full Nord Schleife over on the right. And I think perhaps this is the most famous Nürburgring sign of all this one here. Now to find the place to get accreditation so that I can get down into the pits and stuff like that for the race tomorrow. Right, that's accreditation done. Got my little pass. Let's head to the hotel. Now, before we continue with the rest of the video on the R8, which I will launch for its first ever 0 to 60 mile an hour test, I want to see if you can spot all the cars I personally own while I tell you about the sponsor of this video, Free Trade. Free Trade believes in commission-free investing for everyone. This means you won't pay any commission when investing your spare cash. While other brokers charge up to £12 per trade, Free Trade doesn't, so you can keep more of your money. And where they do charge, like on FX, it's fair and transparent. The design of the app is simple and easy to use, which is great for any experience level. From beginners starting to educate themselves on the benefits of investing to experts already in the know. You can start investing from just two pounds and they offer these things called fractional stocks. This basically means you can buy a small piece of expensive US companies like Google, Tesla and Apple. Free Trade is a which recommended investment platform provider for 2023 and have won the best online trading platform at the British Bank Awards five years running. With over 700,000 investors on board, they're an investment platform you can trust. Now for the best bit. If you create and fund your account with £10 using the link I've put in the pinned comment and description of this video, you will get a free share worth between £10 and £100. That could be in anything from Ford to Coca-Cola. Remember, when you invest, your capital is at risk and the value of your portfolio can go down as well as up and you may get back less than you put in. This is not financial advice. You should always do your own research on what investments are right for you before investing or seek the advice of a professional. All right then, let's continue with the video on the R8 and I will be launching it. Okay, the Nürburgring 24 is about to start. The cars are on a sighting lap. They're gonna come through here. This is the start finish straight and they're gonna do a rolling start and we're just gonna wait for them to come round. Bear with me. Okay, the cars are about to come through having done their sighting lap. Here they come, I can hear them. Wow. That's them off. I've now got 24 hours to wait. Let's go off and find some cars in the car parks. There's some interesting stuff out there. Time to come clean. I didn't actually go and look at cars in the car park. Instead, I went straight to this R8, got in it, drove it for some distance to take it over the 1,000 mile mark. So it is now run in, which means I can now take it for its first proper drive. Let's see what this thing can do. So here we are, first gear, first go. Red line. Woo! <laughs> wow! This thing absolutely pulls and screams. Oh, the brakes are phenomenal. Very glad I've got the carbon ceramics. When driving down this twisty road, lots of turns and steels could get a little bit hot towards the end of it. And now there's an Astra Estate. Marvellous. But I do have 620 horsepower, so... <laughs> this is epic. The way this holds onto the road and the way the suspension deals with the bumps, the faster you go, the better it smooths them out. My God, this thing hooks up. And it's so stable and predictable. Absolutely love it. <laughs> I've been waiting to do this for a thousand miles. Gotta take my hat off to my cameraman who's actually doing a handheld job right here. And if that sounds a bit rude, it's not. He's holding the camera in his hands, there's no mounts or anything. And I'm driving like an idiot. And if I was him, I'd have thrown up all over this interior. And not because it's a horrible brown colour, just because I'd be suffering from some serious motion sickness. Me though, I'm having an awesome time. <laughs> Love this car. And I don't feel like I've compromised by going for the Spider because what you miss in like 
dynamic capability you more than gain in the actual experience from having the sun in your face, that induction noise in your ear and the wind in your hair. Epic car, love it. Though, there is one last thing to do. Let's launch it to see how quick it is from 0 to 60 miles an hour. Okay, so this car is supposed to do 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds. Let's find out what it really does using my new specialist timing gear up here, which will send the data to my phone. First ever launch, here we go. I think we've got a number. So, cameraman, what are we getting? 3.83. What? That's rubbish. It's supposed to be 3.2. It felt a bit smooth on the takeoff, like it was like slipping the clutch or something. 3.82. I think we need to try it again. Okay, here we go. Round two. Do better this time, all right. Do better. Launching now. That took off better that time. Let's see what we got. 3.64. Getting better. One last go. Right, I'm going to do one more go. Third time lucky. Come on. That feels good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, we've got a 3.46. You know, that's not bad. New car, only just run in. It'll loosen up over time. Also, I've got my cameraman filming, so that adds weight. And I've got a full tank of fuel. I know that's all the excuses in the world, but still, I'll take that. 3.46. Oh. And it's very hot today, which doesn't help your NA engine. 3.46 is good. I'm sure we'll get the 3.2 at some point during the time that I have this car. I'll make sure of it. Do you know what? I wasn't particularly happy with those 0 to 60 times, and it probably wasn't fair because the car had only just been run in. However, you join me now a few weeks later, and the car has done quite a few more miles. I'm also on a runway, so it seems right for me to launch it here and actually put it in another time, plus a quarter mile time. So let's do this. Let's launch the car. What's it going to do? Come on. 3.22 to 60, that's it, that's what we wanted. What is the quarter mile time? 11.2, that is better. It's doing the numbers. Let's give it one more run. Right, last run. And if you're wondering why I've got the roof up, I'm just guessing that it might help with the aerodynamics a bit. I wanna get as good a time as possible. So let's do it again. Seven. What's the quarter mile going to be? 11.03. Ah, oh, I thought it was going to go in the tens. Oh well. I hope you'll enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Also, if you haven't done so already, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Okay, and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. There's a lot more videos coming on this channel, so make sure you're subscribed. Also, click on the video windows to watch some more videos. Thanks for watching.